Hello guys, today I want to show you a trick with Laravel APIs that I saw on Twitter by Newton Job. I just want to expand into a full example using that screenshot. So first, the problem. When working with APIs, quite often people forget to use headers to return JSON. Here's my example based on one of the older courses about API like Booking.com. And I will link the full course in the description below if you want to check that out. But basically there's an API call to search for apartments and properties. And this is all fine. If it works well, by default, it returns JSON because it's supposed to. In the code, we have API resource with collection and by default, Laravel transforms that into a JSON. Fine. But if we make any mistake in the code, any error, any bug, for example, let's comment out random line of get. And then, of course, there will be an error. And now if we send that request from Postman, we get HTML as a result. So it's not a JSON, it's 500 internal server error. And the API client, whether it's JavaScript or mobile or whatever, cannot really parse that because it's HTML, there's no structure. So to prevent that when using the API, of course, the solution is in headers, you need to provide accept application JSON. And then if you send, the error comes out with structured response in JSON, which can be parsed in the API client. And a lot of times in my career, I saw people asking me why my API returns HTML. And at some point, I even wrote the tutorial of how to fix HTML and not JSON. And since then, I've been sending this list to everyone who asks that question. But getting back to this trick on Twitter by Newton Job, we can force that header to be sent automatically, even if the API client didn't actually send it. So let's do exactly that step by step. We need to create a middleware. So PHP Artisan make middleware always accept JSON. Then inside of that middleware, we have request and middleware is not just for preventing something, but also you can add something to that request and pass that to the next request. Another typical example would be setting something in the config or setting the main language or setting something in the session. So in this case, we have request headers set and then key value accept application JSON like this. So we have our middleware class. Now we need to assign it to API routes. And in my case, I don't have one route group for everything. So we need to create that. So one of the option is to create a route group here and assign that middleware here. But also if we have all the APIs powered by application JSON, another place to set that is in route service provider where we have API routes configured here. So as you can see by default, middleware is API and we can add another middleware here. So API and then always accept JSON class like this. So now if we try it out by removing that checkbox and still sending the request, it's still in JSON because we're forcing it. Final thing, there's another place where you can add that middleware in the same API. So API is actually not one route, but route group, which is defined in the kernel PHP of Laravel app HTTP kernel. There's middleware groups and there's API group. So another place where we can define it is here. Always accept JSON class and let's test it out again, whether it works, still works. So it's your personal preference on which level to add that middleware in the kernel, in the route service provider, or within specific routes here in the routes API. What do you think about this suggestion? Maybe you have other ways to kind of force the application JSON to be sent, or maybe to catch that exception and provide the JSON return anyway. Let's discuss in the comments below and see you guys in other videos.